Hello, and welcome to episode 58 of Tennis Volley Talk with Brian Danielson. Hey, today what I'm going to be talking about, a little about some of the tournaments that are being played, uh, some in Dubai, some in the U.S., uh, WTA, and the men's tournament uh, side of it, too. Uh, they've been playing all this week, and uh, they're going to be settling that up o- over the weekend uh, for finals. And uh, it's been some really good tennis. Uh, Americans are doing pretty good. Uh, Daniel Collins and uh, Ben Sheldon uh, uh, been doing all really good, uh, showing uh, uh, pretty good uh, results uh, in the tournaments that they're in. Now, however, uh, the one thing is, is I do want uh, to kind of cover also is that I've had a few, uh, the phone calls that I've been making, and and I have a few out in the works, uh, and uh, that I haven't had a response yet. Uh, So I am still waiting for some of those, and one of those I do have to keep checking back. So, you know, see what happens there, and hopefully that might come. Uh, through with the fruition of, uh, you know, getting that uh, phone call uh, to come through. So uh, that will be uh, a fun one, Uh, but uh, we'll see. Uh, Time will tell. Uh, So uh, with that too, uh, I also uh, uh, just want to uh, uh, just kind of also talk a little bit about today too, uh, also, also, I do have uh, one other thing that I'm going to be doing, too, uh, from uh, 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 Jess, uh, a, a girl that I know, uh, that uh, has her mom played tennis back in the day. And her mom actually has uh, a tennis cookbook, so has recipes that involve tennis. So not what, I don't know what they are, but once I get that book, uh, what I'll probably do is kind of like uh, do a recipe and, and be, and eat the, or taste the recipe that I make uh, for that particular uh, episode once a month or something. Uh, so yeah, if you want to, you want to, uh, you know, let me know about that. If that sounds good, uh, I'll certainly do that. Uh, uh, and I've been, I can do okay with recipes and see what happens. Uh, and then uh, with that, too, uh, also, uh, I do want uh, today to also, um, I wanted to talk and show a little bit about uh, a tennis poster that I have. Now, uh, you YouTubers, you'll see the poster right away whenever I show it. Uh, for you podcasters, if you want to see that, go to my uh, you, uh, YouTube tennis podcast, uh, tennis volley talk, and then you can take a look at the poster at least uh, that way. So, uh, but this is from a poster that is actually from probably in the mid 1940s of an exhibition that was being played, uh, and uh, it was it had in it. Uh, the tennis players of Pancho Gonzalez uh, and uh, Frank Parker, Bill Tilden, and there is also uh, uh, Rogers, George Rogers, it probably was. He was from Ireland uh, from uh, 1906 to 1962. Uh, and then Frank uh, Parker, he was from 1916 to 1997. Uh, American, uh, he, uh, Rogers was an Irish player uh, from Ireland. Uh, and then uh, uh, Frank Parker was a, an American player, uh, but he uh, came from uh, po- uh, from Polish uh, parents, won four, uh, four Grand Slams. Uh, and uh, Pancho Gonzalez from 1928 to 1995 American player, uh, won 15 majors and then two uh, slam titles, and then Big Bill Tilden, 1893 to 1953, uh, American player, won 10 slams. Uh, So all those were in, they were in an exhibition at the Denver Tennis Club back in the early 40s. Now, uh, this is actually the poster right here, as you can see. Uh, the poster, and 
that's that's what it is. Uh, Gonzalez, Parker, Tilden, Rogers. It was May 13, 11, 12, and 13. And it was at the Denver Tennis Club. And, uh, you know, it had, uh, let's see where we can go here. It was general admission was $1.50. Children were 50 cents. But if you wanted courtside seats, it was a whole $2. So it was uh, the tennis greatest show on earth. Gonzalez, Parker, Tilden, and Rogers. Uh, so those uh, guys ended up playing and they played singles and doubles in those three nights that they had it. So uh, it must have been a really good, it kind of, the, uh, in a sense, it was back in kind of the barn burner days before everything kind of went professional with the players. And so you had the certain players that got together and did and bar, uh, went all around the U.S. and laid out a carpet and played tennis on the carpet. And they were called the Barnstormer uh, tennis uh, players. And those four were in the in that group. You also had Bobby Riggs. You, I think you, you had uh, uh, Jack Kramer in it, too. Uh, you had quite a few tennis players that were in Rod Laver. You had a lot of those guys that were in it, too. So, you know, with that, it was, uh, you know, a whole big group of guys that, that kind of had the, you know, that the went around and they got some money for what they did. Uh, so they got some of the purse. So that did kind of help with what they were doing back then and playing. So uh, with that, too, uh, you know, that was uh, very good, uh, very good playing back uh, back in the day, too. Uh, and all of those four, uh, big uh, uh, Bill Tilden and then Pancho Gonzalez uh, and then uh, Frank Parker and then George Rogers, uh, those guys were all really good, uh, all winning in their respective time uh, in their living and playing days uh, of that particular time. So, you know, it could have been, yeah, it could have been really actually in the 30s or 40s in that time. But I'm kind of guessing uh, this tournament or this exhibition was uh, played probably in the 40s, early 40s, I would think. Late 30s, very early 40s uh, could have been played. And the Denver Tennis Club is uh, over 100 years old, too. So that's a very long-standing uh, tennis club uh, in, in Denver, uh, Colorado. So uh, with that, too. So, you know, with that, uh, also... Uh, if you you YouTubers, you're going to be able to see the poster that I show you. Uh, it's really a, still in good shape, though, too. Uh, that's why I put it in the frame that I did. And um, so uh, that that was it. Uh, in very still very good shape, too. So uh, you YouTubers, you'll be able to see it uh, for you podcasters. If you do want to see it, take a look at it and see it, then uh, you're going to be seeing or hearing about Racket of the Day pretty soon. I'll be showing the Racket of the Day uh, here coming up real quick. Uh, and um, with that, uh, it, you know, it, just very good. And plus, you know, with uh, everything that's coming down the pike with the phone calls, uh, oh, and I, I do, please leave a comment, like, subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel if you do like that. If you do like the phone calls that I do, uh, which I do like uh, doing them, I get a whole uh, variety of, of people that I've talked to that uh, have really liked, uh, you know, talking about tennis and, uh, and uh, fun uh, talking to them about tennis, too. So that's always been a fun thing to do, too with uh with everything that i've done with the uh, tennis podcast so uh you know with that too uh you know those four uh players in an exhibition back then in the day that must have been really uh, it was uh must have been really cool to be able to see that uh and i've seen a few exhibitions myself i've seen uh john mcenroe i've uh, seen uh, patrick mcenroe seen monica salas uh, mary joe fernandez uh, I've seen Jimmy Connors. I've seen, uh, you know, on the court, uh, Jim Currier, uh, Andre Agassi, Yvonne Lindel. Uh, I've seen those guys and play in exhibitions and stuff. So always a fun thing to be able to watch, too, uh, for me uh, in, in everything. So, you know, with that, too, I do want to now get to uh, racket of the day here. 
uh, today's uh, won't be very long of a, a podcast today, I don't think. Uh, but anyway, this racket here, it's a regent, uh, regent racket. Uh, it probably is in probably about the late 60s or late 60s, 40, 50s, late 50s, early 60s is when this racket uh, was around. Uh, still, Regent is one of the popular names of the brand Regent Racket. Uh, I don't know what kind of what it was called the flight. So uh, the flight racket, uh, Regent Flight. So kind of what they call, you know, the flight racket was a, a brand like I've told you with the Davis rackets. You had the Imperial or the Imperial Deluxe. This just happened to be the flight. Uh, and then it, it's kind of cool because it has the stars on it there. It has a little intricate kind of a design, the gold stars with it. Uh, really good uh, color to it too. Uh, and for uh, the racket, uh, like I said, in this age, age uh, still doing pretty good. It does have a crack on it. It, it was broken, broken. So it, uh, you know, it has. Uh, it's not doing too good with the, uh, with with that. But it's still pretty straight and still intact. So that's always a good thing uh, with that. So you know, with that, I ho I hope you do like the racket of the day. Uh, you uh, YouTubers, you're taking a look at it. Uh, you podcasters, if you do want to take a look at the racket, uh, go to my YouTube channel, Tennis Volley Talk. Subscribe, like, make a comment if you if you will. Uh, always would like to hear what kind of what comments that you have uh, coming my way on what you think uh, about the podcast and what I like doing and and the phone interviews. Uh, and maybe later, once I get uh, a little bit further along in some things, uh, could do some streaming, but I got to get the people that I can stream too. So hopefully one time or another, I'll get a hold of, get a hold of a, a tennis uh, pro tennis X, pro X or pro tennis player. Who knows? Uh, but that's my dream uh, to do that at one time. But for now, I do the phone interviews, which I do hope you like. Uh, I like doing them because they are fun. So uh, this is the racket of the day, uh, a Regent racket, probably late 50s to the, uh, in the 60s uh, era uh, for a tennis racket. So still pretty good shape, except that it is cracked. Uh, so I don't know, I've had it for a long time, but I don't know, it could have been hit against uh, the, the court at one time or whatever, I don't know, but it's still pretty good, uh, pretty good shape racket for for the age that it is. Uh, so you know, with that uh, too, I just wanted to let you know that. And please subscribe, like, and go uh, to my uh, my YouTube channel and uh, make a comment. And you podcasters, uh, if you want to take a look at the racket uh, and the poster that I showed you from the Denver Tennis Club, uh, please uh, go to the uh, YouTube tennis podcast, tennis volley talk, and take a look at it if you want to. I uh, uh, just hope that you do. Uh, and I hope that you like racket of the day because I do like showing my many rackets that I have uh, that I've collected over the years. And it's been fun doing that too with the rackets that I've come across. And there's a few other phone calls that I have out there uh, with uh, some of the rackets that I've shown already uh, that uh, from the tennis shops that had them at one time or another. And uh, so that was, uh, that'll be kind of nice too, uh, to be able to get a hold and do an interview that way with one of the, uh, one of the tennis shops that had those rackets and sold those rackets uh, back in the day. So, you know, a lot of other things coming down the pike. I just want to, you know, hopefully they'll, uh, the phone calls, they'll come through, uh, have a few interesting ones that I'm trying to get a hold of right now. And one I have ones I have to check back with and keep checking back with every once in a while to see if uh, they might be interested. And if they are, they are. And that's a good thing for me. I'd like that. So uh, with that, I, uh, you know, wanted to let you know and have this uh, opportunity to come and talk to you today. And I hope that, uh, you know, wherever you're at, if you're playing outside, that's good. And uh Keep it up and where you're in a warm climate and you're outside playing uh, or if you're inside playing because it's too cold out there. Keep up the keep up the tennis playing, hitting that tennis ball uh, through the next week. So 
I do hope uh, and uh, come up with something for next week and let, uh, let you take a look at it and hear me. And I do thank you very much for letting me uh, talk on Tennis Volley Talk. And for you YouTubers and you podcasters, also, if you, like I said, if you want to take a look, make a comment, like, and subscribe. So thank you very much. And everybody have a very good week this week. And keep on hitting that tennis ball.